it's the start of a new year, which means new kit clubs from Spellbinders, and wait until you see what they have in store for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in this video I'll be sharing the kit clubs from Spellbinders that I received. I have the new card kit, I have the new stitching die of the month, as well as the small die, the glimmer kit of the month, the embossing folder, and the 3D embossing folder of the month. Now, that's a lot of cards to get through. So I am going to just jump into the card making, but I'll share the differences in the card kit and those new dies and embossing folders as we go through. Let's start with the changes to the card kit. The card kit now comes in its own little zipper pouch that fits everything inside. And it no longer has stamps and dies in it. There are some add-ons that you can purchase. There are now eight cards and envelopes, those are A2. The cardstock is now cut down to A2 for you so it can fit in that pouch. Thing is, when I get card kits, even if the pieces are eight and a half by 11, I cut them down to A2 size. So yes, you can not do a five by seven with those colorful cardstocks, but you can do lots of other things. There's the same adhesive, the adhesive roll, and then the pop dots, and then Instead of getting a whole pad of pattern paper, you get a sheet of each of these designs. So I ended up never being able to finish the pattern paper pad. So this actually makes a lot more sense to me in that I will probably use up a lot more of the pattern paper and the whole point of getting a kit is to use up all the supplies inside it, right? So I really like the new formulation. You still get chipboard stickers. There are two different sheets of these chipboard stickers. Love these designs. This month this kit is called Indoor Garden, so there's lots of plants. You also get the chipboard frames. These are self-adhesive. I love the frames this month. They come in a couple of different sizes. They also have these film strip frames where you could fit small embellishments inside or little sentiments, so you get a few of those as well. And I just love those chipboard frames. They really help focus your card. There's also puffy stickers, tons of sentiments on the puffy stickers this month. Month. Everything from Hello Sunshine to Happy Birthday. And I love these gems. They come in four different colors. Each color has three different sizes. And they have this beautiful gold leafing that's added to the top. It does not scratch off. It's underneath the acrylic, but it just adds another element of interest and shine. And of course, you know, my favorite is always the die cuts because you get so many of them. You can use a bunch to create clusters. You could use these in scrapbooking as well and there are just so many different options you still get some foiled elements in there too I love all the plants this month they're really going to be very versatile cards with all the greenery and all the different elements that are included in this kit. So let's make a couple of cards with the elements from the card kit. So I have a piece of the cardstock, remember that's an A2 piece already, and then I cut down a piece of pattern paper to mat on top. So my pattern paper is four by five and a quarter, and then I cut a strip of this pattern paper. I love a little strip of black and white pattern paper, or this one is black and gold. And then I'm going to peel off the back protective layer of this chipboard, and it is a clear back protective layer, and that keeps the adhesive pretty fresh, which I really like. And then I'm going to use one of the puffy stickers to use my sentiment. It's going to say, enjoy today. And then I'm gonna use some of those die cuts. And I'm gonna use a few of the dimensional adhesive to pop up one of the plants because I wanted to use more than one, but I didn't have room inside the frame. So I popped it up on the outside of the frame and then a couple of those dots. So this is a really easy card to put together. And I've used a lot of different elements from the kit. Cardstock, pattern paper, die cuts, gems, puffy stickers, frames. I love that everything coordinates together, makes it really easy. This time I cut the cardstock down to four by five and a quarter and I matted it on some pattern paper. So you could go either way with that. And I'm using a chipboard frame and a couple of chipboard stickers. I love that coral or peach, the darker color and the lighter color and how all of those coordinate and it's in the rainbow too and of course it's in the gems so again it's really easy to pull cards 
together like this because everything in the kit matches so well. I always use up those little foam squares that are included in the kit because they're the perfect size to go behind die cuts. Again, I have die cuts, chipboard stickers, chipboard frames, cardstock, pattern paper, and gems all on one card, but it doesn't look too busy. It's pretty clean and simple, and it was really easy to make. This time, again, I'm going with the cardstock matted on some pattern paper. And this time I'm going to use a bunch of chipboard stickers and some die cuts. This is my go-to design if I have a bunch of little embellishments, stickers, chipboard stickers, die cuts, things like that, that I wanna include a whole bunch of them on a card. I just create a grid. So you can see I have five in that kind of tic-tac-toe grid there. And then I use some smaller elements in between the five larger pieces that I have. Again, this is just a way to use some of those fun designs all on one card. And it's really easy to create. You can recreate this many times with different elements from the kit and just create a whole bunch of cards for your stash to give away. And I have finding joy as one of the sentiments and hello. So this is just an everyday card that you could send at any point to someone just to let them know that you're thinking about them and add a couple of gems for some shine and embellishment too. Remember how I said that there aren't dies in the card kit, but there may be an add-on? This month there's an add-on die, and it's a really fun, unique die set. So I am going to cut everything out of different colors of cardstock. You can see I'm holding the dies in place with a little pieces of pixie tape. You can reuse those pieces of pixie tape time and time again, as long as they don't shred too much in your die cut machine. This piece is two dies that I'm putting together with the pixie tape so it can cut out those elements in the off-white cardstock. And you can see I'm building up this planter that has a face on it, and it's got lips, eyelashes that you can cut out. There's kind of a base, like a collar around it. And it's really, like I said, just such a unique design. I really enjoyed making this and putting it together because once you have the planter and the holder together, you can pop that up and then there's tons of leaf dies that you can put inside. Now, you could cut these in all different colors. You could make them look like rainbow hair or anything else. I decided to cut them all out in green and I'm going to fill the top of that planter with all of those green leaves. And then the puffy sentiment that I chose was remember you you are amazing because this is kind of a unique, amazing looking face here. And I just think it would be really nice to send somebody just to remind them how amazing you think that they are. So again, I'm just using a little bit of liquid glue behind these leaves and tucking them in. And the reason I can do that is because I popped up the planter itself. I was really excited to start receiving the embossing folder of the month. I am a huge fan of embossing folders. I've done tons of videos with them. And you know what? I've never embossed black cardstock. I don't know why, but I just, I had to for this card. It's so elegant looking, that design. I know it can be hard to see in camera, but when you see it in person, there's so much detail and it adds just this subtle looking elegant background. So then I'm just going to add some die cuts on top. I almost, I think, added too many because you don't really get to see a lot of that pattern. But just to show you that all of these die cuts really just work so well together. And then the puffy sticker that says plant your dreams is right on top of a gold foil cardstock die cut that is a sun. There will continue to be a small die of the month and a large die of the month. I receive the small die of the month. And this is a really fun one. So you have that big ampersand and then something to decorate part of the ampersand. And then you have these different die cut messages that you can cut out of the flags or labels that are on the left hand side. So you get a whole bunch of the messages and there's four different size labels. So you can see I put mine together at the top there with pictures tape makes it easier to cut out. Just make sure they don't go on top of each other or you'll ruin your dies. I cut the ampersand out twice and I'm going to adhere each piece to itself to make it just have a little bit of dimension and then I cut out the extra flourish piece out of gold mirror cardstock and wow does that come out nice. 
that gold mirror cardstock, it die cuts beautifully. You can see here, I also cut out the sentiments of them and it just is so stunning when you see it in person, that gold mirror cardstock is so easy to use and so much fun too. So the ampersand die also comes with some flowers and leaves. I cut the flowers out of a light blue cardstock from the card kit and the leaves out of the gold mirror cardstock just because I love gold mirror leaves. And if you look carefully, the cream color cardstock is embossed with that embossing folder. Another change to this year is that Spellbinders will now offer the regular embossing kit club of the month and a 3D embossing folder kit club of the month. I want both because I love embossing folders. So I'm going to first use this embossing folder to emboss a gold mirror piece of cardstock. Now, when I am using 3D embossing folders from Spellbinders, I use the universal plate system and the adapter plate. It runs through perfectly. You don't have to wet anything, especially with gold mirror, you don't wanna wet this, but look at how stunning that design comes out. It is amazing. So the cool thing about this embossing folder is there's lots to use on it. You could definitely do a large five by seven card. I chose to go right around that sort of center area that's not embossed. So I could place some things in there like a sentiment. I'm also going to place some die cuts along some of the embossed areas just to add in a little bit of color to that gold mirror. It's just a fun background to create on. And you could do lots of things with this. You could watercolor the different flowers. You could ink blend on top of them, or you could just take a piece of mirror cardstock and add some die cuts to it. Really simple and easy, very beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna use a different part of the embossing folder. I am going to partial emboss this A2 piece of cardstock with the bottom of the embossing folder so that I miss that whole area that is not embossed that I used on the last card. So you can see here, there's a strip of cardstock that has not been embossed because I did partial embossing. So I'm gonna put a strip of gold mirror cardstock on that. And then on the part that is embossed, I'm going to use a chipboard sticker that's a tag, a few little die cut hearts, and I decided I wanted to add some gold thread. So I just spun that right through the little tag hole. I love that the chipboard sticker had a tag hole, so you could do this, and added that to the card as well, and just trimmed down that excess tail there, and then I, you can see I have a couple of those gems, one on each of the little hearts. So again, very quick and easy. The embossing really steals the show, so you don't wanna to add too much to it, I don't think, but it is just an amazing embossing folder. Okay, this is new, so from now, on, Spellbinders is going to offer a stitched die of the month. This one has an add-on that you can purchase that is a stamp set that fits perfectly inside this die that fits perfectly inside the large panel stitched die. And I love all the different sentiments that you can use. Stitched with love, for you, happy birthday, thank you, on and on and on. So I'm going to cut the panel out of some Cosmic Sky cardstock from Spellbinders and I cut the star out of yellow. You can see how the other pieces can go inside there. If you have any little dots still hanging around, flip your cardstock over and just rub with that brush on the end of your tool in one and it should pop most of those out. So I am using a doubled up piece of gold thread and I'll list the gold thread that I use down below. It's stunning with one thread, that's fine. You can totally do it that way. I like this doubled up thread because then I get the knot at the beginning, which makes it really easy to hold it in place. And I just think it adds a little bit of thickness to it. It's a pretty thin gold thread, not as thin as others I've used honestly, so it could work alone. But you can see again, I've shared this before, how these stitches are so easy to do because they're big stitches. It doesn't take forever in a day. I am going to stamp the sentiment that I'm going to use with some Distress Oxide ink on some white cardstock. And I am going to double or triple stamp it when I'm stamping with Distress Oxide ink, but you can absolutely get a nice clear image when you're using that ink, especially with even a script font like that. And I'm gonna use the die to cut it out. But what I decided to do was cut out the little 
edges and I'm going to mat that on top of another piece. So I'm using some liquid glue to hold the star in place on my background. You can see everything is stitched with that gold. You could do stunning colors. And then I cut the center die out of gold mirror cardstock. I was really into the gold mirror cardstock this time. And it's just, it's so much fun to play with. If you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it. It embosses beautifully, die cuts beautifully. But anyway, the thank you in the center there just I love those stitch dies they're so easy to use and they're so much fun I've mentioned before that I like to receive the glimmer kit of the month and that is because I don't have a ton of foil plates and I don't have a ton of foils yet and you get foil plates usually with dies as well and you get a foil roll so this month is kind of a fun one it's got this little car that you can foil and it's got some copper colored foil with it. So this was really easy to foil. I did it just as is with both plates and then it has some florals and some little sentiments that you can foil. It really, this just one was so easy to use. Everything foiled perfectly. I had no problems. And then I'm going to just die cut everything out. So the little sentiment die cuts a tag, the car die cuts out, the flowers die cut out as well. So just hold everything in place. I like to put the pixie tape on the side just so it doesn't catch on any of the foil. The little car also has windows that die cut out, so I just put those right on top of the cardstock and then ran them through my platinum machine. And once you cut that out, it is super cute. Okay, so here's a background that I created with the original embossing folder and it's on some white cardstock that matches the white cardstock that I used to foil the car and the flower. I used a chipboard sticker for my sentiment. It's kind of a love message and then a black and white heart. And I thought this would be a really great anniversary or wedding announcement card, just congratulating somebody or, you know, just kind of getting excited about their engagement. So just a fun little innovative set that could be used in lots of different ways. I don't know about you, but I am super excited about all these new additions to the Spellbinders Kit Clubs of the Month. If anything piqued your interest, let me know in the comments below. YouTube thinks you might be interested in this video next. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Whoa, a little blown out. And, a both, and a both, and a both. That makes no sense. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs>